Struggling to find out the perfect note-taking app for your iPad? My name is Prithviraj and let me share some of the best options you can consider. So these are the six apps we're gonna cover today. Before we begin, I really recommend that you get a math screen protector for your iPad. It's simply gonna elevate your writing experience by miles. That way it will actually feel as if you're writing on real paper. But without that, it will simply feel as if you're writing on glass and trust me, that sucks. Alright, now let's quickly find out the best app for you. Let's start with something different, you know. This isn't a note-taking app, but this has the best writing experience ever. Procreate. This app is originally designed for digital artists to create amazing artwork, but we can actually take advantage of this one. Since it's designed to create art, there are a hell lot more pen options to choose from and the complete color palette. Pens, brushes, and even pencils are here. I have a really ugly handwriting, but it's not really an issue over here. It automatically makes my writing look better. Like take a look here. I'm making random circular designs and it's fixing it to look better by itself. The drawing assets of these apps are kicking in basically. This can be specifically useful for people with ugly handwriting like myself. I'm really a fan of this monoline brush. It's so smooth. Again, take a look at how it's fixing my handwriting. You can also add text blocks in case you wanted to type something here. And of course, you can add pictures in this app. You can organize all your content using this tool called the stacks. It's basically like a folder. It will like stack all your selected content together. So yeah, it has you covered when you wanted to organize your notes properly. It's a paid app, so please keep that in mind. But from my experience, it's totally worth it, I must say. This is simply the best app when the writing experience is concerned. If you just need to take handwritten notes randomly for storage and stuff, then this can be the perfect app you can get. However, if you're looking for something more advanced, then let's take a look at some of the apps that's designed for that purpose specifically. This is one of the most popular note-taking app for the iPad. Notability. One thing that I value the most about this app is that it gives you access to a lot of free templates even if you are using the free version. It has various templates like calendar, digital planners, to-do list, habit trackers. It has those lo-fi themed planner templates as well which I really like. You can basically use it to manage your entire life using this app. Along with the templates, you of course get to choose between different page layouts and settings. You can import media such as photos and stuff. But along with that, you can also attach audio recordings. This could be really useful if you could integrate it with your workflow. There are actually a few apps that offer this feature. I remember a couple of years back, Notability was most likely the only app that offered us to record audio recordings. Now almost everyone does that. So it's like a pioneer in that aspect. Unlike Procreate, this is a proper app designed solely for note taking. Hence, you are able to import PDFs into this app. You can basically import your entire book and use it like that. It has the highlighter tool for you to highlight stuff and take book notes. It also has this text block in case you wanted to type something over there. You have different pen options to choose from. One thing I really wish that it had quick toggles to interchange between pen sizes and colors. As in this one, there's one extra click you have to do in order to like access to the quick toggles. That's a tiny bit of friction but it really adds up in case you have to constantly switch between different sizes and colors. You can create new folders and organize your notes there. In last year's video, I mentioned that I wasn't really a fan of the writing experience here on Notability but now, in the present day, I kinda like it. Earlier, I felt that the experience was kind of slow but I don't know what they did as it is much more better now. It is much more precise with almost no latency whatsoever. But again, this is just my personal experience so I want you to try out the free version and see how things work out for you. You can also directly scan documents straight inside Notability and it also allows you to convert your handwritten notes into text inside this app. Not gonna lie, this feature is really useful cause you never know when you might actually need to convert your notes into text format. I kind of use it specifically while writing the scripts of my video can be really handy. But one thing I need to point out, when an app is as successful as Notability, I really wish that they gave us an option to back up our notes in the free version as well. Currently, you can only back up your notes if you have Notability Premium, so yeah. Please keep that in mind. Noteful, if you have used Adobe products before like Photoshop and other stuff, the layout will look very familiar. I really like this clean organization where everything is right in front of you on the left hand panel. You can switch between different pen options and colors from the left side. And in case you don't want your panel to be on the left side, you can simply change the position as per your convenience. Noteful has a rich media support. You can of course import pictures and PDFs, but you can also add stickers and voice notes in this app. And one neat little thing they have added, you can change the style of your text even 
even when you are done writing. Like after you are done, you can add different stroke options or even change its color. You can again organize your notes into different folders and also tag your notes so that you can like search them up easily. And I like the fact that they allow you to pin your notes in this app. So it becomes really helpful if you use it as your daily planner. You can very much pin it to stay up there all the time. I really like the positions of the undo and redo buttons. I was able to like quickly adjust them with my left hand. You can copy paste stuff in this app like a breeze. The writing experience on Noteful is rather very smooth. I personally found Notability to be a little slow while writing. But here on Noteful, it simply feels really fast. I have faced no issues at all while writing. So if you are someone who likes to write really fast, then yeah, this can work out great for you. And also, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll keep bringing you more such videos on productivity, tech and life. Color note, this is the first time I'm featuring this app on my channel. This app has a very retro interface whereas the UI is concerned. It really reminds me of the older versions of macOS. I guess that was probably macOS Mountain Lion or Snow Leopard something like that. Just take a look at the folders. It feels total retro. It will be very easy for you to organize your notes into these big chunky folders. One thing I really liked about this app is that it has this segment called Quick Notes. As many a times I just want to note random things down. I don't want to create a completely new notebook for that purpose. It's too much friction and it reduces that. And as usual, you can add photos, audios and PDFs. Just need things to be smooth when I quickly want to get something done. The writing experience felt super smooth in this app. This is one of the major reasons I featured this app in this video. I really like the writing feel of this app. You also have access to various templates you can choose from. But one of the major downside of this app is that in the free version of this app, many things are simply limited. You just can't access them. So in case you wanted to use this as your primary app, I suggest that you first download it and check the writing experience out for yourself. If you like it, then only proceed with it. As I previously mentioned, I kinda like the writing experience over here. However, if you are unsure of that, then check the next one out. Good note 6. This has absolutely been one of my favorite handwritten note checking apps for the iPad. I really like the writing experience on this app. It really feels natural and smooth. My Apple Pencil simply glides through this app. Good notes gives you a variety of options to choose from. You can select between different styles of pages and colors. Same goes for the pen options. You can choose what kind of pen you would like to use to write and the colors of course. You can create different notebooks and folders here on Good Notes. Hence it really becomes easier for you to organize all your stuff. They have added this dedicated text app. So if you wanted to take text based notes, it's gonna offer you a separate segment with a lot more options to customize. You can also import PDFs and photos and stickers in this app. In 2023, GoodNotes added some AI features. If you make a spelling mistake while writing, it will not only highlight your mistake, but it can also fix your spelling mistake in your own handwriting. <laughs> this feature is like a hit or miss to be honest. When it works, it's the best thing ever. But when it doesn't, I would rather erase that part and write it again. But do you know what's the best thing about this app? When you make a mistake while writing, instead of switching to the eraser tool, you can simply scribble it off and it will erase that part. This will give a real life writing feel and on top of that, it's simply so much satisfying. You will be able to access your handwritten notes from your iPhone as well. One downside of this app is that if you previously owned GoodNotes 5, you won't get the new version as a free upgrade. You will have to buy it again separately and that was really disappointing. I really wish they offered lifetime free upgrades like Procreate does. GoodNotes also has this GoodNotes store. From here, you can download various templates and stuff. And they are also currently offering many study aids like in this segment called the interactive exam prep. Overall, I really like this app and I would recommend that you check this one out. But among all these, if you just wanted something simple and you just need to get the job done and you don't want to pay for any subscription, then check out Apple Notes. It simply has so much to offer. On top of that, on the iPad by default, if you double tap with your Apple Pencil, it's gonna open up Apple Notes. So yeah, it really decreases the friction of creating quick notes and that's something I really like about this app. And I personally feel that Apple Notes is a better option when it comes to text-based notes. But the handwritten aspect really has improved over the years. It gives you a very minimal UI and lot of fence settings to choose from. It even has this ruler tool if you wanted to make some aesthetic straight lines. This app simply gets the job done I must say. Now talking about the writing experience when it comes to the handwritten feel, after using all the previous apps, Apple Notes lacks when it comes to the handwritten feel. I personally didn't get a natural writing feel in this app, it really felt kind of slow. But this thing can be beneficial for you if you are someone who likes to take your time and write down things very calmly. Else if you are someone who is just getting started in the world of handwritten notes, then Apple Notes can actually be a great starting point. Simply because it covers all the basics nicely, it's a completely free
free app. So yeah, it's a no brainer in that aspect. But which one would you rather use? Do let me know in the comments, by the way, I'd like to know. And previously, we have been talking a lot about planners and stuff in this video. Planning or time blocking is a technique that is really gonna help you stay a lot more productive in your life. Click here to check out what time blocking exactly is and how it can change your life forever.